I keep pondering that question. I know. <laughs> it's Friday, and you know what that means. You bet Jessup's you. buying drinks after the show. Cocktails! <laughs> it also means that movie critic Kevin Sampson is back yes. for our weekend movie box office preview. Good morning, Kevin. How are you, man? Gentle on skin. Jessup. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, drinks on Jessup. Look at him. He's wearing the go. bright summer color. Look yeah. at Kev. He's got his hot pink on. Yes. About to go on vacation, you know. Oh, Ooh, all right. Vacay. Before you go on vacation, though, tell us what's going on at the theaters this weekend. Mm -hmm. Let's start with um, yesterday. We've been yeah, kind of definitely. hearing a lot so, more and more about this the closer yeah, this movie the Beatles, comes. The Beatles, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so yesterday is from director Danny Boyle, uh, who did Slumdog Millionaire. Basically, mm -hmm. um, a struggling musician named Jack, played by Himesh Patel, wakes up after getting hit by a bus during a 12-second global power outage, mm. and he wakes up into a world in which the Beatles never existed. He's the only one that remembers the Beatles' music. So, of course, as a musician, he quickly writes down all the songs he can remember, starts to play them, and uh, as luck would have it, they're a hit. Uh, <laughs> so Ed Sheeran winds up wanting to pick him up and bring him on tour. And so with his newfound fame, um, he really struggles to kind of uh, step into the spotlight, as well as the relationship with his best friend and former manager, Ellie, played by Lily James, kind of comes under a bunch of stress. Um, this is one of those films that is really charming. Um, it's got lots of humor throughout it. I think if you're a Beatles fan, you will definitely love it. I am a casual Beatles hearer, therefore like, <laughs> I don't listen to the Beatles, but like I've heard tons of the songs. So a lot of the story kind of stuck out to me. There are a few flaws, but overall, I would definitely recommend it for this weekend. I think it's a sweet, charming movie. I'm gonna start hmm. using. I'm gonna start using that. Maybe not in reference to Beatles, but <laughs> yeah. I'm a casual right. something hearer. I like that. Yeah, I like <laughs> that. I think if nothing else, I'd like it. I'd like to see it because of the music. Definitely. You know, yeah, you yeah, can't yeah, go yeah. wrong with music. Yeah. yeah. All right. Both. Well, let's let's talk about the amazing Spider-Man. 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 I don't think that yeah. song's still prevalent. It's not. <laughs> no, that's like no, way. In, that's back in the day. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely back in the day. I know but the look, words to that one though. <laughs> So these next two films, they don't actually come out this weekend, but they come okay. out so early that we're going to talk about it now. Spider-Man cool. will drop on Tuesday. Okay. Um, this follows the world is dealing with the effects of Endgame. And if by now you haven't seen it, I'm going to try to keep it spoiler free. But uh, Spider-Man, a.k.a. Peter Parker, played by Tom Holland, is dealing with um, some of the losses of that. Uh, he's lost a friend and a mentor, and he really just wants to be Peter Parker. He doesn't want to be Spider-Man. Uh, his class is going on a trip across seas, and so he wants to just go on that, tell the girl that he likes that he likes her, but of course, mayhem kind of ensues. Um, it's a really nice tonal balance between teen, like rom-com and uh, action Film. And so uh, I definitely would recommend this for next week, especially as we go into that 4th of July kind of vacation, hang with the family. It's a great film for everybody. And let me tell you, uh, the MCU, Marvel Cinematic Universe, it's kind of hard to know where we were going to go after Infinity War and Endgame. The two post credits in this film will definitely blow your socks off. So you definitely want to stick around for the post credits. Marvel has definitely got this in terms of their storytelling. Ah. Wait a minute, who was the girl? I thought he already had a girlfriend. Played by Kirsten it, Dunst like a long time it, ago on that Spider-Man. Oh These are different movies, <laughs> Julie. Okay, I'm just saying, okay. Totally Real, different. I do want to say though, <laughs> just dropping on Netflix this week is Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. That is fantastic. <laughs> Oh, it's definitely, and I feel bad if you weren't able to see it on the big screen. Oh. It was definitely okay. big screen worthy, um, but you might want to check it out because it's I so think good. a lot of this stuff is helping out. Let's get into Midsummer. Yeah, Midsummer, real quick. please. This is uh, Ari, Ari Aster's follow up to Hereditary. I think that was a grossly underrated film. He is showing himself to be a psychological horror master. Basically, uh, a group of Americans go over to a remote village in Sweden uh, where they think they're going to go to a Midsummer festival. A lot of things start to show that there's some more sinister things going on within this community. Um, it's a real deep dive into the kind of win in Rome, do as the Romans do theory, and how we, as I think a society, kind of group think. Um, it, this guy is just a master. Sh shots uh, a lot of times are in wides. It's a visual feast. You got to pick up the puzzle pieces mentally as well as visually. Uh, definitely not for the faint of heart, but if you like psychological horrors, uh, <laughs> this is definitely float your boat. 
So, so all three you would see or you recommend seeing? I, I would definitely recommend seeing all three. Again, cool. I've given caveats to each one. And so okay. whichever one is your uh, kind of fancy, that's yeah. what you should go for. And where can people get more information on you and your uh, critiques? Hit me up, picturelockshow.com. Everything on social media is at Picture Lock Show. There you awesome, go. man. All right, Kev, we'll miss you while you're on vacation, but have a good time. I will miss you guys, too. <laughs> I, I still got to get your goobers, Julie. I haven't forgotten. Thank you. Yeah, the only one you delivered is about six feet wow, tall. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> All woman. right, Kev, tell Should the family hello. <laughs> Rude. <laughs> Rude. You break one, you snap one toenail. I know, and you never live it down. Oh, gosh. <laughs> this is what marriage is like. We'll be right back. <laughs>